How's yours? Delicious. Every single time. What'd you get? Amazing. A vanilla latte. Oh yeah. Should have known. But if you look at the cups, the cups are pretty focused. The cups are cool because it says. But first, Austin. That, that's like their thing. But first, coffee. They trademarked. They trademarked it, which is kind of insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's a terrible. For the people saying that Austin is a city and just that, there's the water right there, and there's the city behind us. This is the Colorado River, and there's some geese over there. So this is why we love Austin. There's like the perfect mix of like city living, outdoor living. It's awesome. amazing. There's no place like it in the world. Don't fall. Thanks. You look very graceful up there. It'd be ruined if you fell. How's your coffee? Amazing. It's funny because I finished mine like I literally know, like an hour ago. There. I, still, I usually get 12 ounce though. I went 16 today. So. Oh, she went big with the 16 ounce. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> Is that, is that working? Rooftop chill. It's really bright. Wait, should we move somewhere else? Can't, like the other like, side? Yeah, we're like halfway shaded. How's that look? Eh, that's okay. It's good enough. It's better. We're on top of my parking garage right now. Um, cool. We went to Alfred's Coffee this morning. If you don't know what Alfred's Coffee is, I didn't either until she told me. Um, apparently it's like a Californian like coffee shop thing yeah. and it's super popular over there. Like They're a bunch of like famous people go. branding is A+. Plus. Their Instagram is like my favorite coffee Instagram ever. They're they're known for like famous people like Kim Car no, one of the, well, Kardashians, the Kardashians like Selena like, Gomez, yeah. a bunch of people going Nick to their Jones. shop. So yeah, and they have like one location here in Austin. So we went there this morning, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, but we got to talking while we were there, and this is like a big discussion we've been having for a long time. So we wanted to just kind of talk about it real quick. Is whether or not we're staying in Austin, and it has a lot of sides to it. The first is that. Austin is an amazing place to be and like I've never loved a city more but also it also inspires you to do a lot of creative like creative things and to start businesses and have ideas we feel like we can execute on those ideas better in Michigan than we can in Austin um, so that's kind of been the back and forth struggle that we've been having Haley has some really cool ideas that she wants to do and it's just like way easier for us to do that in Michigan than here we love the city. It's my favorite place. I wish I could live here forever and ever and ever, but I don't know when you don't have like your people or your support system in that place, it's a little harder. Yeah. I don't know. We're very, we're like 50, 50 right now. If we're staying, if we're going, there's obviously like the issue of like cost of how much it is to like move or obviously living in Austin is very expensive. So lots of factors jumbled into one. But it's like, it's so hard because everything's inspiring. So Haley, yeah. Haley works for a coffee shop and then there's this like Alfred coffee shop down here. And it's literally just like, they just started it. They just did it. They just opened a coffee shop. They made sure their branding was on point, that they had really cool things to take pictures of, that it just was like a really cool environment to go to. And they just did it. And it's so inspiring because it's, why can't we just do those things? Why can't we just start it? And one of the big reasons is like, we feel like we're constrained being in Austin but it's also the best place to, like, to start something. So it's kind of confusing. It's, yeah, so I would love to open a coffee shop, but I'd love to open it in Michigan because I know that's at some point, like at end goal, that's where we wanna be and you wanna be where you start your business. Um, so being here, I'm like inspired. I wanna start it like tomorrow. I wanna like get going on everything, but I don't wanna open it in Austin. So we're having that little struggle, I guess. But seriously, like, it's so inspiring to see these, these businesses just like doing it. And that's like what, what I was talking to Haley about earlier is when you talk to people who have like started businesses and who've done things, you're like, well, what did you do? And they're like, well, I just did it. And that's like the number one thing that they always say is you just, you just do it. And if it doesn't work out, you try something different. You pivot a little bit, you try other things and uh, eventually you make it work or you don't. Hopefully you do, but yeah. And like the things that ah! Haley wants to do, 
<laughs> Haley has like literally the best ideas for some of the things that like we want to do and like they're going to work. It's just whether or not we do it here, we do it in Michigan, can we start it here and move it to Michigan? Can like it's so confusing and we're stuck. Yeah, being a creative too, like Brian said, in Austin, it's you have a huge network of like fellow creatives. It's easy to get inspired. Networking is amazing. But the competition's a lot higher. So for photography in Everybody's a photographer here. <laughs> yeah, everyone. So in Michigan, it's great. I've built great relationships with people. My business was just starting to build up before we moved. I had some clients, I had some people who, you know, as a photographer, you kind of follow your group as they grow, as their life goes on. So you could take their senior pictures and then maybe one day their engagement pictures. And that's where the people in my life are starting to head. And I'm in Austin and it's starting completely from the beginning, but competing with other photographers, videographers who have been doing it for years and have built that network. So there's a lot that goes into like, if we should stay, if we should go, and we're so torn that, yeah. But now we're locals. <laughs> Gotta wear it. You look really good Probably. actually in this light Thank right here. Thank you. We should get a picture because this is like the iconic Austin building. Oh yeah, the flowery thing. One of the many, aside from like the Capitol building, but yeah. Okay, go. What do we do? Ah! <laughs> also, I don't know, but apparently this is like a famous hotel or something. There's always a bunch of like really nice, really expensive cars parked outside, and I don't, I don't know. Apparently, it's famous. Yeah. Also, there's like rooftop sitting in like every restaurant here. It's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. There's an old dude on a statue, and probably he's probably important in some way, but. Maybe he's Mr. Driscoll. Maybe, yeah, maybe he's Mr. Driscoll. All right. Clean up time. My car. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but like, whenever we drive my car and there's like garbage, I just throw it in this like side thing. And then, like, when there's too much stuff, like, in these middle cups, then I move those over here. So there's literally like a. This is like a full can of sparkling, like, water. Bunch. Like, why? I actually don't know where these came from. So those are in there. Uh Alright, we're back at the apartment, finally. We're back. Uh, it's like 1 p.m. already and we literally have not eaten anything. So I'm going to make mac and cheese. The Annie's mac and cheese, which if you haven't had Annie's mac and cheese, it's way better than anything Shout else. Out Shout out to Haley's little sister. Because she told us about Annie's. But uh, besides that, Haley's... So this, this apartment is kind of trashed. I mean, you can't really tell. There's like stuff everywhere. Like blankets and oh, shoes and I got ice cubes to put in our little succulent plants which and Scrap was not pleased he didn't get one. So. Yeah so if we ever use ice cubes Scrappy uh, thinks he'd owe, he, we owe him one so um, but yeah it's pretty messy in here so Haley's gonna clean while I make mac and cheese so uh, enjoy Haley cleaning for a little bit. Do you need me to hold you close I switched actually to the, uh, he's pooping. Every time I record, he starts pooping, I swear to God. What I was saying is I switched back to the 10 to 18 uh, millimeter lens, which is why it's like super wide angle. I can zoom in. Um, this is 18 mil, that's 10, this is 10. And I just switched back because the other one is pretty heavy. And it's also super zoomed in, it's like that. Oh my God. So now we're on the wide one. Let me know if you guys have a preference, this one or the other one. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference to me, but, oh, okay. We're running, we're running. <laughs> go run, be free. Go play with, well, there's no dogs, so go go do things by yourself. Go sniff that fence. If y'all have been watching the vlog for a while, you know that Scrappy does not really like, he likes playing, but just not with like other dogs, other bigger dogs, he's really scared. Um, they usually trample him, so he just kind of chills. Even, even when he's alone, he's just, just gonna, nope. He's gonna go bark at a dog, but. If he wants to play with him, he won't. Who is it? Who is it, Scrap? It's your mom. It's your mom. Go, go get her. Go do something. Hi, dude. 
Nope. He's. Hey, I got a treat. You want it? What was in the Amazon box? Toothpaste. Is that literally a box of toothpaste? Yeah, she paid eleven dollars to ship it to me. So no way. I'm gonna send her a thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, sit. 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 He looks. He's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, well, it's a little bit later in the day. It's not too late. It's like four. It's nice. It's Three fifty. Jeez, it feels <laughs> super late. Um. But yeah, I mean, we just wanted to make a, a video talking about, you know, kind of how we're feeling about Austin. Um, we, I don't know, we heard from a lot, like, a lot of people have been telling us that they watch our videos and it's, it's kind of cool to, like, see updates on our lives and what we're doing and the things that we're experiencing and whatever. So we just figured it might be kind of nice to make, like, a video about what we're thinking as well, um, just with the current state of everything, where we are, what we're doing. And, uh, and yeah, I don't know, nothing set in stone, obviously. It's just a thought that we've been having and trying to mess with, so, um, yeah. I don't know, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's just so hard because, like, it's literally like the middle of January and we're sitting outside at a dog park. Like, okay, and Haley just put a treat on his head. <laughs> he hasn't noticed it. Hey, buddy, there's a thing on your head. <laughs> it just got hey, lost bud. in the fluff. Hey, there's a. Oh, there. Ah, uh, and he ate it. <laughs> <laughs> also, fun fact uh, I don't have any New Year's resolutions. Do you? Um. No. No. No New Year's resolutions. But I did hear that, like, uh, setting a resolution for a year is actually like bad because you're less likely to follow it. So what I've been doing is setting like a monthly resolution. So I said for the month of January, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I'm supposed to read two books this month and I haven't, haven't done that. So good. But it's only halfway through the month. And the other thing that I did is I wanted to make sure that I was, um, not, not doing like a full workout every day, but at least being like physically active. And that's been going really well. Um, I've been pretty much working out or doing something every single day. Uh, except for the few days I was sick this week, and Haley's coming with me tonight. Oh, I forgot about you that. You said you were going. Oh, okay, tell them about that, that stupid commitment thing you told me, and now it's bothering me every day in my life. Okay, so, basically... What, was it from a book? Yes, I read Girl, Wash Your Face. I have a blog post about it. But she says every time you make, like, a promise to yourself, you tell yourself you're going to do something, like, I'm going to go to the gym today. Every time you break that, you're breaking that commitment to yourself and eventually you're going to get to a point where you just know right from the beginning that you're not going to do it. So she explained it as if you were um, your flaky friend that you always invite to go out, let's go do this, let's go do that, and they always say no. So, or they say yes and then the day of they don't show up. So eventually you stop inviting them. Uh, pretty much you are your flaky friend and eventually you'll stop inviting yourself to take part in things or do things. So. Brian and I are really trying to, whatever we say we're going to do, commit to it, stick with it. That way we're more likely to keep those promises and get to those bigger goals. Yeah. All right. It's a lot later in the day. Scrappy's over here already sleeping. Haley's over here not feeling good. So uh, I think we're going to end it here. But look at that sight. Look at that. It's so cute. Scrappy's just so satisfied right now. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Haley's not feeling good. I think she might have something that, that I had earlier this week, which is just like my throat wasn't feeling good. So I don't know. She's just going to take it easy tonight, um, Sunday night. So we're, we're looking forward to not, wait, we're not looking forward to working the rest of the week. But uh, she's giving a thumbs down over there. So right, right there we go. Right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it here just to uh, close it off. Make sure we're getting some sleep. He he puked on the carpet that we just cleaned. Oh no! <laughs> Scrappy! Scrappy! No, we. D yeah, okay, that's definitely time to end the vlog. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to us vent today about what we don't know what we're doing with our lives. And uh, hopefully we figure that out pretty soon here. You, you want to end it? Wait, you got to say... Thank you guys. Love you. Peace out. Peace out. A-Town.